Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video. And this is almost the middle of January. So we have all the information to talk about the financial performance of the game throughout the month of December. And we all know that December was a big month. It was a month of celebration. It was a holiday season. So we'll see how the game is performing on that particular month. And on top of that, besides showing the analysis, I'm going to talk about the game modes that has been launched throughout December and we'll try to assess that what is actually working and what are the things that may not be working. So let me um, take you to the report and we have this sensor tower monthly report and let me quickly show you the months that on the uh, left side of the screen you'll see this November revenues and on the right side of the screen you will see this December revenues. So let's go down and try to find our Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. And looks like I found it. This is the Japanese server revenue of December 2023 Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. On November it was earning $4 million. And on December it is $2.9 million. So quite a, quite a good amount of reduction I, I can see already. So let's find the global. Let's find the global. Okay, global Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis from 1.9 million to 1.2 billion, 2 million. So from this uh, sheet, we can see that's a good amount of reduction. So let me take you to my Excel sheet and show you some more analysis. And as you can see. I have collected all the information from September, October, November and December. That means since the release and look at the revenue trend and look at the reductions from November to December in global server. We have a reduction of 36.84% on the Japanese side. We're having a reduction of four uh, uh, from, from 4,000 to 2.9 that, that is 27.75% reduction in the revenue that's a lot and considering the fact that currently the Japanese side of the game is responsible for 70.7 percent that is 70.7 percent revenue on the month of December and on the global side was able to only accomplish 29.3 percent of its revenue so global is kind of struggling that I can say so let me take you to the next sheet and where I'm uh, especially showing the global revenue breakdown. You can see the September, October and November and December. On the September it was 4000 million. On the October the number came down to 3000. On November it came down to 1900 and on December it is only 1200. So from uh, I would say from December, from November to December, it's a 66 point, uh, sorry, from the September, that means the beginning month of the game, that is September, and if you consider the month of December, so September versus December, the reduction is 66.67%, guys. That's a lot. Let's talk about the Japanese server, guys, and in the Japanese server, in the beginning uh, month, it was doing 8,000, 8,000. That's a huge. And second month, 6,000. September, that means the third month, 4,000. And this month, December, 2,900. So if we consider September versus December, the reduction is 63.75%. That's a huge amount of money that the developers are losing right now. So let's compare these two by side by side as you can see September, October, November, December all the data here. We have the global server on the uh, left side and the Japanese server on the right side. Of course the Japanese server is contributing more but both of them are sharing the same downfall. Same downward uh, progression I would say. Now let's uh, talk about some game moves because because we need to think about that 
what is actually not working and what are the things that is working and what are the main things that took place in December. So I kind of listed these events. First of all, Steam release. I don't know what to say about it because we had a lot of expectation from this Steam release that it would bring a huge amount of players for sure. And at the same time, it should bring a huge amount of revenue as well. But looks like it didn't work. Such a thing as a Steam release hasn't really contributed into the overall revenue at all. That's a big deal, guys. I don't know why because personally I think it changed my gaming a lot. Now I almost do my 98% gaming on uh, my Steam version. I, I, I only play the game in mobile only for watching ads. That's all. That's all I do. But I don't know why it didn't work. Next we are having Tifa's Arcanium banner. Now I don't know if this banner was successful or not but I probably would love to believe that this banner had some contribution in the overall revenue because it was an Arcanium and Tifa is a popular character and looks like a lot of people actually summon this character or pull this character. Aerith's Snowflake banner. That's a controversial banner. I talked about it before when I was reviewing the Aerith's uh, banner because this banner changed the way we see Aerith. The way we see Aerith is as a healer and we have arranged our team accordingly. Now if she suddenly becomes a debuffer, then that kind of disrupts the entire team con uh, you know, combination. Now we have to arrange the team entirely in a different way. So that might be the thing that discouraged many people not to pull in that banner at all. Next we are having Hell House and Holy Flame. Now both of these uh, game modes were kind of a game mode which were not redirected to you know uh, gather money from the players rather both of these events were kind of giving out that means totally going with the Christmas theme that it's a time of giving something to people they did it both of these events were highly highly rewarding and at the same time they required nothing, no money. You don't have to spend anything. So I think in that reason, these events, both of these events, they didn't really contribute in the revenue, which is perfectly normal. Next, we are having Jack's holiday banner. I think this banner couldn't do much well because there can be many reasons. But in my opinion, this banner didn't do really well because of his uh, I mean, the banner was good, the costume was really good, but his kit and everything was making him a debuffer. Probably we don't really need a Jack as a debuffer. Probably we want to see him as something else. We'll talk about it in some other videos in detail. Next, we see all summons of co-op. That means all the co-op summons that arrived. Once again, this banner was also, or this event was also something to gift people. To give people to all those memories to uh, let them um, use the summons and stuff like that that is all right guys next these a uh, couple of banners that we can see especially cloud and sephiroth's banner you freeze dungeon new stamina pack new year special deals now cloud and sephiroth's banner i would not consider in this report because the banner kind of released on 31st of december that means whatever money this banner is earning is will be considered in the January revenue. So I am really really curious to see that how this banner is going to uh, actually contribute. That's why the January report is going to be very very important guys. Don't forget to tune in. I'll be publishing video once again. Yuffie's dungeon once again starting from January 1. So that's not going to be considered. Now there are two more things new stamina packs and new year special deeds now to talk about these things we need to go to the actual shop now let's talk about this new year pack i think some of this new year pack are actually not bad because 
uh, there is one pack I think I bought this one this one is actually giving uh, a weapon selector that means a, a weapon a weapon voucher this is a good deal and I talked about it but think about the other deals these other deals they are not really that worthy I mean they require a lot of lot of these crystals and a lot of lot of actual money none of them are true true friendly and if you talk about stamina pass for example the stamina pass I think it is kind of a thing uh, that I would think twice or thrice or five times before spending and finally I will not spend something like that I will not I will not be able to say directly no but I will not be able to say yes but look at this 3000 of this blue crystal they are giving that's cool seven day effect only and we'll be getting 20 stamina per day I think it's not a bad deal but probably they can increase this day effect a little bit more if this day was 15 days that would be superbly dope just make this 15 day and I think this sell of this package will be doubled so that was my brief analysis and opini opinions about the uh, monthly report so in the next uh, month I'll be bringing once again another analysis and I I'll be really really curious to see what happens to this big cloud and Sephiroth banner thank you for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and I hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends